All right, thanks, Randy. LDOT wants drivers spending less time at red lights. The department in the middle of a three-year project to sync traffic lights on all highways across the state. Brianna Hollis joins us live tonight to tell us which roads already have the new technology and how the traffic is looking. Bree. So LDOT says that drivers are actually spending half the time traveling on the Highway 90 corner corridor, excuse me, in Tillman's Corner since this new system went into place and the most recent stretch of road to get the new tech, Highway 59, just in time for tourist season. It's summertime and everyone wants to be here. We're headed there. We're going to throw some fishing lines in, drink a few cold beers. But to get to the water, you have to hit the road. Been very busy. Traffic's been crazy. It's just unpleasant and especially when your AC doesn't work like my car. Highways 45, 90, 98 and 59 are LDOT's top priority across Alabama when it comes to implementing the synchronized light system because as a spokesperson tells us, that's where traffic is the worst in the state. Sounds pretty good to me. I think everybody else would agree. The latest portion was recently completed in Foley. It's on Highway 59 between County Roads 28 and 10. We went ahead and drove that route for you to see if it works. We never had to wait a full light cycle, but we were stopped briefly at two red lights. LDOT says there's no guarantees during rush hour, which is when we drove the route. And what was the traffic like driving down this road here? Complete. I'm, I ain't gonna lie. Did you feel like y'all hit a bunch of red lights driving down here? Yeah, we hit quite a few. I mean, we've been stuck in traffic almost all day. And while the project is complete, engineers are still keeping an eye on the traffic and will make changes if necessary. Alda says the synchronization on highways 45, 90 and 98 should be complete within the next three years. And you may remember the city of Mobile put its own synchronization process into place here on Airport Boulevard last year between Sage and McGregor. Reporting live in Mobile, Brianna Hollis, WKRG News 5. A one year old